Hi guys, it's Myung and welcome to another video. So today I want to show you guys how I do my readings for each week. So let's go! So just to start off and explain to you guys, these readings are weekly readings and each week we have essential readings or lecture readings and we have further readings. Essentially, you'd have to do all the essential readings and do a fair amount of the further readings for each week if you can. And then you'd hopefully be very ready for the seminars or classes that we have each week to discuss the topic of that week with other members of your class. The more further readings you do, usually the more information you'd have for essay writing and so on. And so for these reasons, um, doing the readings efficiently is really important as they can be time consuming. So without further ado, let's move on to how I do my weekly readings. So when I first came to LSE this year, the Department of Methodology and other members of my department, the International Development Department, briefly introduced us to how we should read readings effectively. And the first thing they said was to read the abstract of the paper. So the abstract usually includes the aim, the methodology of the article and brief findings. And it's basically a generally a, a very brief summary of what the whole paper is about and maybe some of the background um, context of the academic article. Then we were advised to read the introduction and the conclusion. So after I read the introduction, I will skim through the paper. Then I would go ahead and read the conclusion. And as I'm skimming through the whole paper, I will just highlight the important things like the definitions, um, the concluding points of a certain chapter, for instance, and the introduction and conclusion are very important as this is where I can find the aim of the authors, the methodology used, the definitions of terms, and the points that they found throughout their work. So the software that I'm using here is basically Notability, and you can get it on your iPad or tablet and you can also get it on your uh, computer. I use a MacBook and actually they're synced. So whatever I write or annotate on my iPad will be synced to my MacBook and vice versa. So it's really useful for when you just want to access the same piece of work from a different workspace. So that is basically the first skim done of the paper. I'd say that if you're in a hurry or looking for some ideas for essays and things, this is a good way to finish reading the paper. However, if it's an essential reading or something that you're like a topic that you're very, very much interested in, in looking at, or you just have a lot of time on your hands and want to read everything, then it's pretty much the same as what we've just discussed before. But instead of skimming through, I probably read each section of the paper very thoroughly and just go through each thing really well. So most times I will write some notes probably at the bottom of the paper or do some note taking. This doesn't mean that I write out every single point but I follow this guideline. So what was the aim of the paper and what was it about? Um, what did the authors find most importantly? Were there any positive points or any criticisms of the paper and its findings or methodology in particular? And finally, if it does, how does it link to the findings and ideas of other authors and other papers, especially for that week? What is my own opinion if I have one? Um, I think that's quite important. 
uh, for when it comes to essay writing in particular. I still will make a note of really, really important quotations that I feel like are going to be useful, points that I might include or refer to in an essay at least. I'll jot down the page number if there's anything. What I'm using here to take my notes is the program called Notion. So I've just turned the camera on to show you guys my note taking. So as you can see, um, I've done, I've made a table basically on, on all my readings for each of my classes and each of the weeks and if it has a link to it, for example, it might not necessarily be a reading, it might be like a video, then I will link that here and just like the author the title and basically this tick is basically I take it if I've done all the readings and if, I, if I've done the whole reading and if I have made all the notes on it so let's just open like a random one this is from week two so basically this is the guideline author theoretical orientation comparison you know uh, I didn't actually write the comparison down but it's in my actual reading that I annotated on my um, iPad and then yeah, strengths, weaknesses, I didn't really have specific questions about this text, so I, did, I left that blank, but that's basically how, yeah, I do my reading notes. And um, finally, I will also actually colour code my work, so when I just need to underline a, a point, um, it'll be this like kind of blue colour, <laughs> or if it's something really important, I would highlight it in this coral colour, or if it's a definition, I like to do it in lilac, or it's the aim of the authors, I do it in a baby blue, etc, etc. It just personally helps me because when I come back to the paper, I can see like straight off what I'm looking for. So for instance, if I'm writing an essay and I wanted to include a definition in like cite the definition from that paper in my essay, then I can just look for, let's say, a lilac underlining and then I'll be like, oh yeah, that's the definition. So it just personally helps me. I think that this method has helped me to improve on my understanding of the actual reading and also do a lot better on my essays for this year. This term I've especially found that this method has really helped me in structuring my essay and shaping my own ideas um, which are really important in the end and I've been met with good results so far so I think I will probably continue to use this method. So I hope this was a very interesting and fun video hopefully and please remember that this is not the official way to read or take notes and everyone works differently and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!